So guys, if you're wondering what to do in the beautiful country of Suriname, here's my top 10 tips of activities you need to try. First one up is Flying Dress Suriname. I like the concept, it's basically from the Greek uh, concept, when you go to the Greek islands you can take uh, beautiful pictures in you know, colorful dresses, the in the wind and I think the owners of Flying Dress Suriname want to transfer the same concept. Another great activity to do when you visit Suriname is go to the Anara River Resort what you do is you land in a Paramari bowl and then you get taken to Upper Shornam, deep in the jungle and then you can spot the birds, you know, visit local communities, see what they're doing. Um, Suriname is a country in South America but the local communi communities over there still live like they're, you know, close to nature in Africa. It's a beautiful thing. It's really pure. So that's an uh, unforgettable experience. So really something that people need to do. I'm a lover of art. And if you're a lover of art, you need to go to the Ready Tax Art Gallery and have a look at what the Sunnimese artists are doing. Let's talk about the Akira uh, Overwater Resort in Nikiri. That's a fairly new resort and it's in a lake. Uh, and the reason people go to this resort is because they like bird spotting, uh, they like fishing, and the district is not too crowded, so people go there for their rest. So that's something you can do because people who go to Suriname most of the time they stay in the city, they stay in Paramaribo. But this is something else, it's refreshing, it's new. So please do that next time you visit Suriname. Nikiri is close to Guyana, British Guyana. So you can go there for a day trip, combine it. Suriname has lots of plantations. One of these plantations is Frederiksdorp. Uh, Frederiksdorp was once a plantation uh, that people of um, African descent worked on and after that you get a colonial period with people of Japanese descent. So if you're visiting Frederiksdorp, you can also go to the neighboring um, areas where you can um, be in contact with the locals and indulge in Japanese culture. Popular excursions are cycling through the area, are caveman spotting uh, during the night. You can also rent a boat uh, at one of the locals and sail through the creeks. Palmentan is a botanical garden in the city of Paramaribo. The locals go there for activities and the tourists to catch some shit. The nice thing about Palmentan is that there's an artisan market where you can go to to get some souvenirs for all of your friends and family members back home. This city garden is also very close to Old Paramaribo, so as you're walking through um, this location, you can also enjoy all of the other old buildings in the city. An interesting place to visit is Galibi. Galibi is close to the Atlantic Ocean and it's most famous because of the sea turtles who go there to lay their eggs a couple of times a year. Um, it's all protected but you can also visit the locals. Um, a lot of Native Americans live there so if you're interested in Native American culture you can go and visit. Sudanese people are very friendly, so they will welcome you with open arms. Let's say you don't get the chance to go to the interior of Suriname. Again, visiting Paramaribo Sioux is a handy alternative. Are you interested in the animals of the Amazon? Then you should absolutely visit. Um, you can see uh, pumas, um, sluts, all 
all of the animals, boas, uh, indigenous snakes, all of the animals that you can find in South America are pretty much in the zoo. So if you're with your children, or you just want something to do in the afternoon, please visit. Dolphin spotting is also a thing in Suriname, but I have to say, as someone who has uh, done a couple of dolphin spotting tours, uh, it's best to go in the morning, um, you know, when the, the fishermen are out and they have fed the dolphins, reason why, um, the chances are that you won't see them if you go later in the afternoon. But it's always fun to go on such a tour you learn so much about uh, the creatures that live in the sea or in the Surinamese River the Suriname River so uh, if you get the chance dolphin spotting is absolutely a thing to do by the way the type of dolphins that you're going to see are the Amazonian ones not the flipper like Florida Miami uh, dolphins, but our very own pink Amazonian dolphins. Guys, Surinamese men are like um, singing birds. They keep them, and what they do is organize little matches between the birds so if you're in Suriname you can also do that I'm going to uh, leave a link um, in the comments uh, section the description section uh, where you need to be to go to such an event uh, you can also do bird spotting in, um, in the forest there are a lot of guides who organize that so um, what I would do, what I would suggest is contact the tour operator and see if they can schedule that for you. Let's 